Hi, <laughs> you like my baby? <clears throat> Daughter of Belzebub, or whatever. Um, I hope everybody had a nice Halloween. I had a lot of fun, and uh, here we are into the month of October. So that means it's time for me to do a candle empties video to see what I've been burning during the month of October. So bit of a variety here. I'm going to start out with something that you probably all know and love, um, which is Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This one that I have here is from last year. I got a, one of the sales, SAS sale or something. Uh, anyway, you may find this hard to believe, but I this is the first time I've ever burnt pumpkin pecan waffles. I know it's kind of a, a classic or standard with some people but every time when I smelled it previously in the stores it just somehow never appealed to me as much as some of the other pumpkin candles that were out so I never got it until this this sale and I actually uh, for the first time this year burnt pumpkin pecan waffle and I have to say like was I crazy or what it's it's a really really good candle I really loved it very strong throw beautiful burn and uh, the scent was just amazing and it burnt pretty well you're gonna see a lot of soot on my candles it's actually kinda my fault cuz I didn't really trim the wicks at the at the end at all with these things I just kinda let them go so that's my fault But pumpkin pecan waffle that was a winner um, I had another nice one from uh, Bath & Body Works, the We Love Pumpkin. And this was, uh, I don't know if you saw those or not, but they had a We Love Autumn and a We Love Pumpkin. And this one, it's a, like a tri-layer of three different scents and three different colors. So it was really pretty to look at and it looked nice while it was burning. Um, what surprised me the most, though, there was a, the, this last layer I really, really liked, and it, it was another one that I've just never gotten before. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. I've always passed up on that and gotten other pumpkin ones, but that last layer was the best smelling one. Man, that was really good, too, so I gotta get me some Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin for whatever, the rest of autumn or for next year or whatever. Loved it. Uh, this one, a Colonial Candle, I burnt. It's an 8 ounce small one I got at Ross. Uh, also last year I think I got in a set of two or three. Um, this one is Autumn Spice Tea. It's a very pretty label. The wax was a very beautiful, uh, as you can see, purplish burgundy, well more purple kind of color, dark purple. Uh, unfortunately I could not get this thing to, to pool out at all. I mean, I foiled it, I I dumped a little bit of wax, I sang chants to the candle gods or whatever, and it just would never really pull out, and the one wick kept extinguishing itself. And so finally I thought, well, this is annoying for a small candle, so I just chunked it up and put it in the, the wax melter, and I'll tell you, what a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, I have heard other people say, and I have to agree, that uh, the colonial candles that I have had, I've only had a few, but the ones I've had, um, their scents are very multi-layered. It's not just like an one in-your-face kind of scent. So it's kind of hard for me to even say exactly what autumn spice tea smelled like, except there was definitely a tea. There was definitely some pumpkin, and there was definitely different spices, but there were other things going on too. I mean, it had a very watery, ozone sort of smell. I don't know. This was really a beautiful candle, and I would definitely get this again, even if I had to just chunk it up and put it in the the uh, mat, oh, wax melter. I would do it again because it's it was that nice of a scent. Really nice. Uh, let me see. Oh, I burnt. Well, this is a Bath and Body Works. I think we're familiar with Spooky Vanilla, which is just sort of a very cute label on there. Um, a marshmallowy, vanilla-y sort of scent. Uh, it was nice green wax. And this one burnt well, had no problems. Again, I, it's a little suited because I let it go at the end, didn't trim anything, and that's kind of my fault. 
because I don't really care about soot. I live in a really well ventilated apartment, so soot is not really a problem uh, for me, like getting onto the walls or whatever. It doesn't really happen. Uh, this this was a nice one. I would get this again. Whatever it is, I don't know. What is it? Toasted marshmallow or something? I don't even know, really. Uh, I did burn one of these little things. Remember these? I got them for like a dollar fifty last year at an after Christmas sale. This was creamy custard, apple cinnamon cheer. Uh, and this one actually burnt well. I just sometimes I've had problems with these not burning well, but um, this burnt beautifully and I just let it burn for very long periods at a time and it did fine. Um, I got also did a cup just a couple of melts, a pumpkin wreath from Yankee Candle. I was trying to boost up some things that the pumpkin wasn't very strong on, which I'll get into. Uh, this, I could smell it for one, like an hour, and then it was completely gone. I don't know. And this, I was at Walmart and got this, what is it, $1.84? I was just going to try it. Tuscany Candle uh, Candy Corn Melts. And they smell good, you know, on the cold sniff. Just kind of a sugary like candy corn um, and when you melted it it smelled like absolutely nothing like nothing at all okay so it wouldn't save my two dollars or whatever uh, this candle I want to talk about a little bit I don't exactly know who makes these I'm looking like what's it called parfum fabrique par illume I dropped the lid um, Anyway, I got a couple of this and another one at uh, Papyrus. They had an after Christmas sale, and I got them last year after Christmas. I can't remember the other one, which I burnt already and is in a review, but this one I held on to for this fall or Christmas season. It's called Vanilla Woods, and this was really a beautiful candle also. Uh, burnt really well. I had no issues with the burn. The scent... It's very layered. There's definitely vanilla, not really strong. There's definitely like bergamot oil. You can definitely smell that. Maybe slightly musky. It says cedar wood patchouli and birch tar. But it's, it has kind of an Earl Grey tea scent with some little bit of cedar, some woodsy sort of notes. This is really a beautiful candle. I also would definitely get this again uh, if they have another sale on it. I think it was only like six dollars. Yeah, it was like six dollars on sale because it was normally $13.95, which is not bad normally. Uh, finally, I will talk about the candle that's been the bane of my existence for the month of October. This receives the Worst Candle of the Month Award. Congratulations. It is from Yankee Candle. Um, very disappointing because I'm burning two large jars now that are fantastic. Uh, and I was really looking forward to this. I did get this at Ross. It's only $9.99. And it's not because you got it at Ross because I've gotten great ones there that threw well. And I've gotten lousy ones there. And I've gotten great ones directly from the company and lousy ones directly from the company. So I, I don't. it has nothing to do to me. I think these things they do at like Ross or... Um, the other discount stores are just, you know, to get you into their brand and eventually hope that you'll start ordering them online or going to a Yankee Candle store just to kind of draw you into, the, familiarize you with their brand. But um, if this was going to be my first impression of Yankee, I would not be very impressed. It's just called Pumpkin. I don't know what that is in the regular line, but beautiful, beautiful uh, wax, really beautiful orange. Cold Sniff in the store smelled beautiful. Just a very kind of a plain pumpkin, not a lot else going on. And I thought this will be great to burn with all my like Yankee Candle, pumpkin, whatever, whatever candles that don't really have that much pumpkin in them. Um, this will be nice to augment it. However, smelled great in the store. Got it home, lit it, burnt beautifully, as you can see. Very clean, beautiful burn. Um, and it smelled like absolutely nothing. I mean, I could, I had. I could stick my nose in it while it was burning like this and still not smell anything. And I smell nothing now. And there's oil in there still. I smell nothing. 
dud. I don't know. It burned beautifully, but not happy with that. Anyway, that is it for my candles for this month, and uh, we'll check in and see what's happening next month. I'm enjoying watching everybody else's candle videos and seeing what they're up to, and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Well, I'm going to see you before Thanksgiving if you watch my other videos, but there'll probably be a haul in here somewhere. All right, we'll talk to you later. Have a good, have a good day.